What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry at TJR Sim here, and today we were looking at Automobilista 2, and we were going to set up some VR settings. And I figured I would come up with a scenario that is worst case scenario uh, for those that you can just set these settings and forget it and love it and, and move on. So what do we have here? Is if you went into a race here. Uh, I set the, let me see, we'll just go into what, what, what we set up here for the scenario. This is a five lap race. Uh, weather starts off as fog. We'll go deeper in that into that. It goes from fog to a thunderstorm to rain to clear, all while transitioning into nighttime. So we're starting off uh, in the evening time, transitioning in the nighttime. So I'm trying to cover all the worst case scenarios because uh, nighttime is very taxing for VR. Uh, so, you know, and when you add in all the pixelation of, of rain, uh, makes it even worse. So let's get into what we set up here. So this is at Brands Hatch GP. I picked that track because there's a lot of elevation changes, a lot of, uh, grass, a lot of, uh, stands and stuff down the front straight. And this was actually a very taxing track for Project Cars 2 in VR. And so I wanted to hit this one as well uh, for y'all. So a pretty, pretty good track. Now let's jump into what the actual settings are. Now to roll this out, what hardware I am using. I am using a, a 2080 Ti GPU. So it's, it's, it's pretty baller GPU. And uh, it's uh, you know already overclocked from the factory. So I have a good GPU. However, it is still really taxing on that one as well. For the... Uh, HMD, we are using the Rift S and uh, really enjoying that headset as well. So uh, with knowing that the Rift S only hits 80 hertz, um, just to let you know, it's not a 90 hertz uh, display. It is 80, so the most you're ever going to see is 80, uh, which is still plenty. So for keeping in mind what I just showed you, the super sampling we are at 1.2. Uh, now you can run 1.0 and, and never have any dips in, in anything that you do really with uh, things maxed out uh, pretty high. But uh, a 1.2 is a sweet spot. Oddly enough, this game looks really good even at 1.0 super sampling. I was surprised how well it looked with the Rift S. Uh, it's just must be because it's just the better headset. I'm, I'm getting more clarity through the screen. Uh, but it looks even good at 1.0. However, once you bump the super sampling, your draw distance gets better and better uh, in the Rift S. So uh, now just keep in mind, we're looking at 1.2 here and everything else turned off, recenter and stuff that had nothing to do with, with any of the uh, graphical goodness. But uh, if you are someone that likes to pro, uh, you know, predominantly race in daytime, 1.5 is your pretty much your max that you're going to run. This is with a 2080 Ti. Uh, you, you may find a little bit higher, but the trade-off is, is too many dips in the resolutions and stuff. Now, if you're familiar with uh, some of my guides and stuff, I, I do this for Project Cars 2 with several different headsets. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm down to the Rift S because uh, all my other ones are gone, the Rift and the Odyssey, rather. And it's been a really good guide for, uh, for me and other people. So... Uh, I couldn't use the exact same settings I had with Project Cars 2. So, and this one is actually optimized a little bit better. Actually, I think nighttime looks way better here than it did in Project Cars 2. So uh, they did some good work here. But now, if you are someone that like races at night or likes transitions from day to night, 1.2 is not your friend. You're going to want to bump down to 1.2. You could get away with 1.3 if you don't mind the uh the low dips of 40 hertz here and there when in, when the track gets really busy uh but for the purpose of this video we want to just kind of set it and forget it and 1.2 actually looks really good uh for all your scenarios even during the daytime but let's get into it so performance all right uh for this usually for vr i run 1920 by 1080 120 hertz and I used a Windows screen. Uh, now for the video that I've recorded here for y'all guys, um, I had to run it up to 3440 by 1440 at 120 hertz. So it'll have a full screen for y'all. And I had it on window no. Uh, so that's a little bit more taxing as well on my GPU. So keep that in mind. Plus I'm recording 
at the same time. So the dips that you see that happen from 80 hertz, usually down to around the 77 hertz uh, range or 77 FPS rather, um, are really just because of the recording is going on. I, I was not experiencing that when I was not recording and when this was set at 1920 by 1080. All right, diving in. Texture resolution on high. You can bump that baby all the way up. Uh, filtering, 16X is good to go. V-Sync, nope, didn't apply. MSAA medium, this is very taxing. Uh, I was running, if I'm just running it on the screen itself, I have everything on ultra and high. Uh, but however, once you get into VR, uh, it didn't really matter what I changed down here. I could not get it off of that 40 FPS and, until I changed my MSAA. So, uh, that was even when you're running 1.5 super sampling. Uh, so medium is your friend. Uh, you could go low and, and have a little bit more. However, uh, it's not really necessary with these settings. So it looks really good the way I have it. So, uh, let's see super, you know, super samples is covered in another menu, but reflections rather medium. Uh, the, and of course your car reflections, reflections also off your object, stuff like that environment map medium as well the car detail you can put it on high or ultra uh, it's pretty much the same i just maxed it out track detail on low as you know just like in project cars 2 the tracks are very detailed you don't really need to bump this up uh, much higher as it is very taxing on your uh, gpu so uh, low is good to go pit crew all uh, leave it on you hardly get into the pits but when you do get in the pits which in this video we do jump into the pits because I want to show you that scenario as well uh, it will drop down to 40 Hertz when you're looking around at your pit crew changing your tires and with the rain going on and nightfall coming so uh, but it doesn't look bad at the 40 Hertz because keep in mind when you're in the pit crew you're just looking at the goodness of your car dash and your guys running around so if you were to veer out into the daylight area or, or the cloud the sky rather uh, it does jump up to 80 hertz like really quick so uh, it is just because so much is going on however don't set your your settings here based off a of pit crew because it's you're gonna not get the visual goodness that you would have had uh, otherwise so shadow detail on medium uh, seems to work really good. You don't have to go low with the 2080 Ti. Uh, if you have lesser card, uh, if you're running an old 1080 Ti, which I loved, um, low will be your friend uh, for VR. So with a Rift S, that is. Enhanced mirror, no. Uh, now, if you are running prominently daylight, uh, I, I like to run uh, this on yes. And what it does is in your rear view mirrors, you end up seeing a little bit more clarity uh, draw distance basically is what drops off when you have this on no. Uh, and you'll see that if you look at the mirrors in the, in the video, uh, you'll see some of the draw distance drop off and, and just kind of see sky behind you instead of cars and stuff. But however, as the cars get closer to you, you do see their headlights and stuff and it looks really good. So, uh, races in front of you, not behind you. So keep that in mind. Um, motion blur off render frames ahead. Didn't seem to matter. Uh, I bumped it up to four to just because I hope that uh, everything is going to be rendering before I get there and uh, to keep it from having any clipping or, or any uh, uh, screen tearing or anything going on. So detail grass on off. Uh, grass looks just the same on or off. Uh, you can put it all the way up to high. It looks just the same to me as it does on off. So, uh, you know, it's not like this is Forza. Uh, to where the grass looks exceptionally uh, good on, on ultra settings. So uh, leave it on off. Save you some uh, FPS. Particle levels and density, particle density on medium. So you can see them raindrops and everything looking good. So those are the performance settings. Now let's not forget about um, visual FX. That's another hitter on your FPS. So post process and filters on on. Uh, that really just set that to your liking. I like it on. Um, it doesn't, you're not going to really save much uh, with it all. Now, exterior, we're not going to save anything, is what I've noticed. Now, exterior sun flare and interior sun flares, uh, I think normally it comes as full. Uh, keep it on minimal. Uh, looks, you know, this is very taxing actually, rather, on your GPU. You could go to subtle 
or 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 none if you want it to, and 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 have a little bit better frame rate. However, minimal seems to work just fine, and have some of that goodness going on from the sun flares. So uh, now, if you don't like sun flares at all, turn it off. All right. So uh, bloom on, heat haze off. Uh, rest of it is, is, you know, the exposure compensation on one raindrops. I do like them on that's when you're racing in like F1 type cars and you have the raindrops across your visor on your helmet. Uh, so that's really cool. Now keep in mind, this game doesn't show your windshield wipers. So this could change in the future. Once the windshield wipers work, however, it does when you turn on your windshield wipers, you don't see them physically moving. Uh, but it does clean your screen off, which is funny, but, um, uh, the Vignetta, I can't pronounce that, sorry. Uh, no, uh, Crippolis, uh, or Sun God Rays, I call it. No, uh, Stream Dirt, yes, Cockpit Mirrors on. So, with all that in mind, there, get into the race, enjoy these settings. You're going to see the race unfold. It's going to transition from daylight in the fog uh, to. Um, uh, going into a thunderstorm and then a, a light rain to finish it off and then clear out. So just kind of like a big thunderstorm came, it was foggy, big thunderstorm came through and it cleared out. During the fog stage, you could have the helmet on. I forgot to turn it on, but you can run that with your helmet cam on. And But once it gets to the thunderstorms with the helmet on, you're going to be locked in at 40 FPS. So you will have to transition back to your cockpit without your helmet. And then, of course, for the remaining part, once you get to the clear, you could put your helmet back on if you wanted to. I don't generally race with a helmet on, uh, but it is really cool to do, uh, especially in the daylight settings and stuff. But um, I, I feel a little bit claustrophobic, I, weirdly enough, with VR with the helmet on, so I, I don't leave it on. So, but anyway, that's the settings. Let's roll into the race here. Enjoy it. I am going to cut out at this point and leave comments down below. Hit subscribe, turn on your bell notifications for some more goodness. It actually helps out a lot more uh, when you subscribe. And sharing is caring. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful to you. And then as this game progresses more, as they get better with optimizing their VR, I will update my settings uh, accordingly. However, it's just going to get better from this point. It shouldn't get worse. I uh, hope it doesn't. Uh, they seem to have this optimized really, really well actually and this is a uh um a game that's been around you know as far as this madness engine has been around for a long time which it was already optimized so well in vr uh that they probably didn't have a whole lot of tweaking but they did they did for sure make nighttime look better to me uh which i really like because i didn't like it at all in project cars 2 so uh yeah enjoy it until next time we'll see you on the track i am out of here guys